Hello everybody, this is Dan Wolverine here. Um, today I finally got my package, which was um, in the mail for quite some time. Quite some time. I mean, not ex like extremely long, but you know, long enough to the point where I was like, I forgot about it. I forgot that I was getting this today. So you're probably wondering what this is now. I spent like about a year looking for a decent GPS system, something good. I was debating between TomTom and Garmin, and then there was like this other like Morella or something like that. I, I, I probably messed up their name. I kind of chopped it up there. But point being, I determined and I found out that, sorry, it's like this thing is like all on, all up on my grill and everything. So I, I determined to find something decent. I found out, probably not sure if the serial number, found out that the best mark the best brand to get, the best quality you could possibly get, apparently is Garmin. I don't even know if I'm saying that again. Good. It's probably like Garmin or Jarmin or something. But it, I, I call it Garmin because that's, that's pretty much how it's spelled. So I don't know if that's correct or not. But I got the, bam, the Garmin Nuvi. 52 LM. Now the LM, I wasn't exactly sure what these things are because they have so many like, there's like Garmin 2507 or I don't know, a whole bunch of those. And there's like, how do you get from Garmin 42 to Garmin 52? Is there like a 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51? Are those all a thing? And what happened to those? Like, why aren't they showing up? Because I actually researched some of them. And then there's like 2000. I'm like, how do you get to 2000? And how are those earlier models than these ones? So you go to this website and you know, you check like the things you want, like lane assist, uh, lifetime maps, lifetime traffic. You check them up and then you get the most recent Garmin things. You get the most recent um, GPSs, basically. You get the most badass ones you could possibly get. And they're expensive. Uh, they're probably not expensive compared to like, I don't know, getting a fridge. I, I say that because, you know, our fridge broke down, like I've been trying to fix it. I actually fix it. Um, and then, you know, then I, you know, I got some car trouble. But point being, that was my week. That was my Thanksgiving week for you guys. <laughs> right there, in a nutshell. Fridge broke. Car broke down. Not the car, but a tire popped. Fixed everything. And I had a nice time at Thanksgiving. I didn't really go that much of Black Friday shopping, really go for that. But this was a purchase before Black Friday, just so you know, FYI. I didn't know before that LM was supposed to be Lifetime Maps. Apparently, LM is Lifetime Maps and LMT is Lifetime Maps and Traffic. Now, this is the, like I said, the new V52 LM version. This is the one I better felt myself suited to because the I believe it's like the LM40 or... Yeah, I think it's like the 40. I don't know. Something like that. I, it was something like that. Because I'm thinking, I'm, my mind is between the the Garmin F Nuvi 40 and the price tag it had. Because the price tag was like 46. So my mind is already like 40, 46. It's like already mixing up those two numbers. So now I don't even know what brand the other one was. Like what mark it was. But unboxing it for the first time, I got this far like before the video and then I'm like oh no I should make a proper unboxing so let's start let's just start so during Wolverine here like I said this is my second unboxing video hopefully you guys like it hopefully you guys leave me some good reviews well not good reviews I'm not looking good for good reviews I want honest reviews I prefer honesty over saying hey dude your reviews are awesome thanks but I wouldn't know how to take that I really wouldn't I'm being honest with you guys right now I really wouldn't know how to take that. If you guys tell me, hey, that was an awesome review, I'd say thank you. That's what I do. But I wouldn't know what to do with it. I honestly don't. I would say thanks. I would appreciate it. But I wouldn't know how to improve it because there's no constructive criticism. There's no basis on it. There's nothing. Like if you give me, oh, I liked how you did this and you know what you did that. Maybe a little bit tweak it right here and then you would be great. You'd be solid on that. Then that's constructive 
that's a very very constructive review and I'd appreciate that because then you're being you're leaving me positive feedback and you tell me what to do better what to do what to expect you know and what you guys expect so now I'm gonna start unboxing the box now so you have this little thing which is a, apparently the GPS so let me get it little spectacle there uh, so I believe this isn't supposed to be attached already it's supposed to be like a separate little thing yeah no it's already attached so okay oh, point being now this is the GPS and you can see the reflection of the phone showing the GPS and then back and forth you have GPSception there <laughs> reflection shit there something inception okay reflectionception now here's the GPS now hold on a second real quick bam right oh it's backwards so you go on. it's supposed to be five inches so we're measuring it yep it's five inches you can see it there five from corner I had it like nice and aligned but then like I had to show you guys so then like I moved so that's that's the thing there now it's actually a pretty nice size I mean decent size compared to the hold on a second hold on just hold on bear with me okay okay so you got like this much wider of them oh -hoo! look I turned it on huh there is the Garmin turned on. Like, do not attempt to enter route information or adjust the device while driving. Failure to pay full attention to the operation of your vehicle can, could result in death, serious injury, or oh, I forgot it. I didn't get to read. Dude, look, huh. look at that. Like full battery apparently. A bad signal though. So, wow, this is getting so much more in depth than I expected it. I wanted it to. Okay, so let's get this somewhere. Here, I think that's more acceptable. Or if not, let's try this here. Sorry, hold on. I like actually want to move you guys so you can see full on. Now, so this is the uh, the screen. Now, you know it's kind of bad reception because it's raining outside. Happy Thanksgiving, by the way. I completely forgot to mention that. Now, let me try to do it on the screen. Yeah, it's focusing on the screen. There you go. Now, so I'm gonna go to volume. Let's leave it at 90. Cause I prefer a nice amount of volume. And hold on a second. This has there has to be a better way to do this. There has to be, right? I mean there has to be. It's that's a thing, right? Having better ways to film and stuff. Uh, I apologize to you guys for all the noise in the background. And all that I really do in advance. And for that. Sorry about that. <laughs> It's an iPhone. What do you expect? It doesn't have something to lean on. Now, okay, so now that it's centered and I can see it as well. So it's 2.25 p.m. And that is inaccurate. So let's see if we can go to settings. Go to time. Okay, so time for my 12 hours. Current time is, let's go up. Oh, automatic. Oh, wow, automatic. Fine. Oh, that sucks. Can I like change it? No? Okay. Oh, because I have a... So it's set on 2.25, but it's actually 2.27 at the moment that I'm filming this. Yeah, 2.27 at the moment. So that's already bad. But you know, it's not like killer. It's probably just because you have to go on to the, the menu. So you get... Get this nice cool little setup. That's actually pretty nice. You go to system, navigation, display, display, let's go to display. Color mode, screenshot. Ooh, I can make a screenshot. Brightness. Oh, I don't even know if you guys can see it. Sorry about that. I wasn't even looking at that camera, I was looking at this. Okay, so you get Okay, so you have that. Languages. Oh cool, that's cool. American English, Samantha, text language, American English, keyboard, American English, voice language. How do I? Okay. How... What do I do? Oh, so you can scroll down. You know with your. Okay. Yeah. And then you can go up, down, up. You know. 
So American English Samantha and American English Michael. So you got the option of either male or female on English, Spanish, same thing, and English, I mean French, same thing. Korean, apparently you get only one. And then you get Portuguese, Brazil, Brazil. And then you get, you know, oh, you actually get two in Brazil. And a whole bunch of other languages, mostly Asiatic, that I don't know. It has the restore option. It always has the restore option. I wonder what that is. I, I know that must be something. So let's go. So, oh, look. Look, at the signal's actually improved. So let's, yeah. Let's go to where to. You have address. We have go home. Points of interest. Actually, I'm curious to where, where the other one lived. I should kind of check this out and be like stalking him from now on. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm, I'm not going to. Oh, oh, you guys need to see my face. I'm not going to stalk you. But I had to say that. <laughs> Because it's something that came up to my mind. Mm. Let's see. Go home. Enter my address. Use my current location. Oh, dude. Set a home location. Oh, you had to set a home location. Oh, that's cool. So the guy probably wiped it clean before he sent it to me. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. I didn't. That's actually pretty smart of him. Then you have the address over here. You can go like spell city. Enter postal code. Search all. So let's go to spell city. Oh, hold on a second. I'll take it off. Actually, no, I'm, I'm not going to take it off. W H I T T. What the heck? Oh, well, yeah. Enter house number. I don't want to put that in front of the camera. Let's just go to that. But apparently, it halfway. Okay, so yeah. I'm just like making sure. So, this is Whittier, California. If you guys didn't know that already, if I didn't mention that in a previous video. So now your your search is narrowed down for when you want to come and kill me or whatever. Uh, you know, hunt me down, being all professional and whatnot. Okay, so I go, like, so you see, wheat, a, I misspelled it. I don't know if you guys can see it. I misspelled it. And it doesn't take me anywhere. So it does recognize it. And then you go, so whether you push back, whether you backspace, or whether you forward, or not forward space, or whether you add in another letter, it's gonna, it's gonna try to be Google for you. It's gonna try to be that annoying friend who's like, oh, you're telling them a nice little story, telling them, okay, so you'll never guess what happened yesterday. So I was going down the street when suddenly I was like, oh my God, did, he, did like your boyfriend come over? Oh, did your girlfriend show up? Or, you know, they're gonna be trying to guess the story, you know? So, you know, you, ha you have to be constantly pressing back. I don't know if this is like a mode. American English. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is basically the same thing. Just the language. Signals. Oh, you can actually put signals in here. Oh, huh. letters. Apparently, the alphabet is known as QWERTY. QWERTY. Okay, you can go back. Now spell city again. And then it's blank. So, I don't know if you guys can see the, the lettering up here, but it's blank again. It's actually pretty cool. I like that. Now, I don't even know how to turn it on. Like, oh, huh. now back to where you guys were at. Now I'm gonna see if I can turn this off. Uh... Ah, cool. Okay, so basically, in a nutshell, that's the power button. I see back here the import for I guess the charger. And the micro SD card that the box was talking about in the back. And here we have the nice little thing on bottom. So basically, this thing that I found that wasn't obviously going to be connected because in every single picture, even in the front cover, it shows it without that. So it shouldn't be connected to it already. But you know, I guess the other one got a little bit friendly. So that ball is to roll around in there, I'm guessing. And this is the suction cup that's going to be adjacent to the window board dash, whatever. This actually gives me a good idea because if I can connect this and then connect the one I already have onto the just a regular dashboard, then I can film this without having to be going like, okay, so, uh, uh, yeah. I don't know if you guys can see. Oh, I cried. And then, and then, you know, I crash into a nuclear reactor. It blows up and we start the zombie apocalypse, you know. Just another day in the life, but. That being said, 
that actually works out in my favor. I didn't I didn't think it was gonna come with this. Like I know it's what it comes in its original packaging, but because it's used and I'm buying it, I'm a college student and whatnot, I'm trying to buy it at a nice, decent price. I didn't think it was gonna come. I thought, you know, it was gonna be one of those people who sells this separately from this and this, which this, I'm gonna tell you, the car charger and the little end. Now this is actually pretty neat. Now on the bottom of that, under that, it has a little manual. I'm trying to be more objective at this time. Sorry about it, if I wasn't. Oh. Oh, look at this. Okay, so in retrospect, if you don't want to listen to me babbling on what this is, this is a more effective way, and now I'm going to turn you guys towards it. So, there is that right there. The GPS, the little back port thing, and then the connection that goes to your dashboard. There's your GPS. There's a charging cable. You fold the cable. You connect that to your <laughs> charger in the car. And then on a separate note, you're kind of just charging it at the same time that you can, you know, tilt the screen. On the back, oh, cool. On the back, you can see the lifetime maps. You know, you charge it with a charger. Actually, that is a USB port, which doesn't come in this. It doesn't come in the package, so that might be something that's missing. I, um, then again, it might just be something that I need to get on my own. And you know, there's the little web address to go and get it. The location, just basically telling you, like, okay. If you need help, go to the help icon. If you need a destination to go to, then go there. And then it just tells you a little welcome thing and a whole bunch of flags. America, Canada, Britain. I don't know why Britain's on there. It's supposed to be like USA and like 48 states of it. Like those are supposed to be the preloaded maps. The rest are supposed to be like map updates. Supposedly. But then again, I did a lot of research. Like I, like I said, I go to the extent of the internet, try and research this thing, and I found so many sites. And it's painful how many sites you have to go through just to find your kind of GPS. This is a box. It has a little warning, you know, don't kill anyone kind of thing. Like, please activate voice commands so you don't have to be looking at the screen while driving and, you know, crash and, you know, zombie apocalypse. Same scenario. And it has a little, oh, cool. Well, this is in French. And this is in Spanish. Oh. Oh, so th these are apparently, uh, that's my bad. I, I keep pulling on the, this thing. The mat on the table, so. Cloth on the table, my bad. So I kind of like leave it to be fallen. So these things are apparently small paragraphs of this one on this side, which is Garmin Express, your one-stop shop for keeping your device up to date. So that's apparently the name of the lifetime maps. Update maps, update software, backup, restore, transfer favorites, access your favorite voice and vehicles, voices and vehicles, not voice and vehicles. View a complete owner's manual, register your, your device and receive a 10% discount off an accessory, excluding Canada and Mexico, Garmin www.garmin.com slash express I don't know why they would exclude Canada and Mexico though I mean Mexico and USA were originally together right so why and I don't know why I really don't know why they would exclude Canada because I know a lot of people don't like Canada I'm not, but I'm not one of those people like I really don't have a reason to hate them either so, but then again they have because in everything, wherever you go, they have one of those things like USA and Canada. Like all of USA states and Canada. And like, okay, why don't you say USA and Canada? So it's it's kind of weird sometimes because, you know, they, they always come together usually in a lot of things like in terms of use and stuff like that. And now, like, this is the first time I've seen it excluding Canada. So apparently you don't get a discount if you live in Canada. Garmin. That's Garmin for you. Now, this is my first GPS review. It has a little speaker in the back. 
nothing extra on it, no audio ports, nothing else, so you can't be listening to it, like, on the one year if you don't want to, like, if you're, like, having a birthday surprise and you're, like, trying to take someone but you don't know where to take them, don't use your GPS. Because it's gonna be like, it's gonna be telling them where you're going. Destination to Chuck E. Cheese in five minutes. Take the next turn left. It's gonna be telling them where to go. So don't use your GPS for that. Just use it when you're on your own or use it when you're other people that you're not surprising them with. You know, not birthday surprise or anything. If you're not doing something like that, then feel free to use it. I'm actually gonna try it out. I know how annoying it is to be sitting here waiting for this video to transition into a car and show you how it works out there. And it's not the best brand out there. Well, it is the best brand out there, but it's not the best version. That is it. That's what I'm looking for. It's not the best version out there. I know that because I've researched this. I go to the extent of the damn internet to try to find these damn things. You'd be surprised what you find through all the fluff and stuff that you had to get out of the way beforehand. But you'll be surprised what you find. Um, I know. I know, some, some of you guys might be like, oh, well, this isn't the one I was looking for. But that's why I'm going to include the full name in the front. So this is going to be titled um, Garmin Newbie 52 LM Review Slash Unboxing. Because that's what it is. I am. It's unboxing for the first time, and it's a review on it, a pre-review. So I want to give you guys another video. This one, I'm definitely going to make another video. Not like the Audio Technica. The Audio Technica, it's awesome. I rarely have anything else to add on to it. I might do the video after this. But the point being is that this, it's no good for you to sit down with me on the camera and watch me unbox it and tell you what's already in the package because you probably already know. I already knew what was going to be in here. I just didn't know whether it was or wasn't because it's a used item. That's it. That's my only concern because when you buy it used, you don't know if the person is selling the whole package or, you know, the box with the GPS but doesn't sell the charger with it and doesn't sell the, the suction cup. You don't know that. You don't know that. And you know, sometimes they, they exclude certain details from the shipping, from the packaging, you know, they exclude those details. So you have to be careful. It's kind of like a swamp meet out there. It pretty much is. But a little bit better because this has PayPal protection guarantee and then you actually have brand stores selling their stuff on there. Like there's Walmart. Walmart messed up big time recently with that PlayStation 4. They were selling it for, I don't know if you guys know this, There's this was news to me one day, one day after it closed. I'm like, oh my goodness. It was like open for an entire week. Here, here, let me tell you guys. Okay, so some buffoon messed up on the shipping and the price. So you know, there's, it wasn't on eBay, but it was on Amazon, I believe. And it's like, you know, how you have the price and then you have the shipping. So they mix, messed up while they were doing the whole, okay, this is the item, PlayStation 4. This is what it comes with, the charging kit, the package, you know, the box, the actual set itself, you know, PlayStation 4 charger, connection to the television, you know, all that, all that. They were putting all that. And, you know, they have to have the price tag, which is like three ninety nine or something for, you know, the PlayStation 4. And then they have the shipping costs. And because it's something so sensitive, because it's a PlayStation 4, you don't want it being hauled by a bunch of people just going like, oh, well, here's another package. And then like, hold on, I'm not ready. Oh, I thought I was gonna miss that. Okay, in you go. Next. You don't want that to happen. So you want good shipping. You want shipping and handling covered. Even if it's free shipping, it's free shipping because the other person is just being giving you the courtesy of paying for the shipping. Sometimes you have to pay shipping, sometimes you don't. Sometimes it's just it's just a courtesy to have free shipping. That's it. So what they did was they put $60 for shipping because it's a PlayStation 4. You expect it to be a little bit costly for the shipping, you know, considering that whole that the price itself for the PlayStation is like 300 something. Now, what this buffoon did he mixed up those price tags. He put $60 for the PlayStation 4 and $390 something dollars for the shipping. So the guarantee in Walmart is you come in with the ad, <laughs> we'll match it, right? That's the basic guarantee. That's, a, that's in a lot of places, but you know, Walmart specifically. 
well, it's like gold, get on, whatever. But they guarantee that. Like, that's their promise. That's the Walmart promise. And what they did is, people took pictures of it. People, people screenshotted it on their phones. I don't know if you guys can see, like, uh, there. There's, like, the outline on my phone right there. That's the camera. So, they screenshotted it. They took it. And they were, Walmart was obligated to sell their PlayStations for the new one, the new gen console, for sixty dollars. And because people were going to pick it up, they 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 weren't like gonna pay three hundred and something for shipping because they were going to the store, picking it up, and saying, you know what, I'm going to buy this at this price because you have to match it. Remember. They're paying sixty dollars, you know, plus tax, for a PlayStation Four that cost around four hundred dollars, and they didn't have to pay the shipping because there was no shipping. All they did was show up. That's the shipping, and then take it. And it was unpatched for a full week, and I found out the day after it got patched by my friend who knew about this while it was unpatched. And they didn't have the guts to do it. I'm like, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Ah. But, point being. <laughs> I don't even know the point of this anymore, but. Point being. Sometimes, out there, you have to make sure you try to look for the good deals. Because that's the kind of stuff you find when you're searching the internet. So, like I said, unboxing of the Garmin Newbie 52 LM. Lifetime apps. I'm really glad about this. I'm gonna search it, like how it works, and then I'm gonna show it out on the streets. I'm oh, not right now. It's like raining. It's like, it's really like there's no tomorrow. Like seriously, like I know California's in a drought, but come on, it's like raining nonstop right now. Like I need to be places. I don't like it raining like that. You know, we're in a drought. California's in a drought right now. I'm glad it's raining because you know we need water. So that's a plus. Let's still work for that. Anyways, I'm gonna close off this video. Make sure I get this puppy tested out. I'm actually gonna check it out right now. Check out its like neat little features. Like the battery's pretty good. The signal's not the best right now, but you you guys saw it. Like, it was like two bars, and then uh, as soon as I was like shimming it through it, like the bars went up full on. So it's pretty much the best brand you can get. And even with the rain, it's just the rain. No, okay. So let's finish this, the warning. You assume total responsibility and risk for using this device. That's how, I'm, that's how I'm going to end the video. You assume responsibility for using or purchasing this device. Hopefully this review helps this preview to the review of me actually driving. Because I know it doesn't help to just see me unboxing. You guys want to actually see me drive. So I'm going to try to do that. Get that done. Yeah, it doesn't stand up without the little stand, kickstand. But yeah, it's, it's going to fall. So, then you guys leave any feedback, positive, negative, cr constructive criticism, leave that. That's the best feedback you can give me, because it helps me learn how to be better. Alright, well, see you guys next time. Bye.